and then um, finishing up, uh, at least for the, the sessions, is uh, Clement with uh, Insider Navigation. So whenever you're ready, sorry about that, uh, just go ahead and... and uh, Perfect. Uh, is it working? Can you turn on the mic? Can you turn on the mic? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. just read the button. So, <laughs> very complicated. Thank you for the invitation. Since we are already a little bit late, and I guess I'm the last one today, I promise I really will make it very short. And I got videos with music, just to keep everybody awake. Uh, I'd like to show you something that we developed the last two years. So there's a lot of heart and soul inside what I would like to show you. Because we developed something in augmented reality, uh, in indoor navigation, working without hardware. So no Wi-Fi, no beacons, no eye beacons, whatever it is called. Uh, maybe to show you a little bit where we are coming from. Uh, I found it 11 years already ago, uh, the company Cardimotion. We were focused on innovative marketing. Mm -hmm. And we did a lot of augmented reality as well since 2010. Uh, due to the requests, we also have some subsidiaries in Shanghai, Hong Kong, and Munich. Unfortunately, till now, not in America. But based on the requests that we have on this new project we are having now, we are about to found also a subsidiary here to serve our clients. And uh, as mentioned, uh, insider navigation, the reason I'm standing here, uh, we started two years ago a development together with the Technical University of Vienna. Uh, where they said you're doing already a lot of augmented, reali uh, augmented reality. There's a lot of money from the European Union. Let's try something out new together. How can we use augmented reality and see if we can navigate in big buildings like shopping malls or airports? And we said, why not? Let's try it. It's money from European Union. Uh, let's have a try. We didn't know if it was working. Uh, so we started with money from European Union. In November last year, we've seen, great, it worked. Then we got private money. Uh, thanks to this one here, they said maybe we should join the company because I guess there's quite a potential uh, in this field. And they said, OK, how do we differentiate to all the other companies? I mean, as you know, Cisco, Apple, Google, all the big companies, as far as we've seen, uh, developing already in the field of indoor navigation. Um, maybe just to give you, up, where do we have the mouse? Oh, oh, oh. To give you a quick overview, I mean, as you know, there are I mean, some basic different technologies that you can use. I mean, there's Wi-Fi, like Google is using, and of course, the sensors in the mobile phone. There is Bluetooth, like indoors. Uh, indoor Atlas, I also like very much with magnetic fields. And as far as we've seen, I mean, there are a lot of companies also already trying using optical tracking. So we've just met in Europe, I guess, three or four countries, uh, companies using it. But it seems like at the moment, nobody really somehow made it work uh, as a stable way to use it for indoor navigation. And what we use is uh, optical tracking. We have a patent pending. It's a hybrid scanning. Our attorney said I'm not allowed to say exactly how it works. But I just can tell you, since all the people ask, yes, SLAM algorithm is one part of it. But only SLAM alone wouldn't do it. Uh, just to give you a quick overview, I mean, everybody is quite accurate. But as far as we've seen, we're really down to, the, to an inch. And the nice thing is with optical tracking that we not only know where you are at the moment and maybe use the compass and know up to 10 or 20% you're looking north. But we really know exactly where you're pointing to since we can recognize the structure of the building. So to bother you no longer, the video is sound to show you in detail what we are doing and what we are planning. Helping you to achieve your goals, that's our goal. With augmented reality, you can bring fresh shopping experiences to your customers and launch a new type of business model. AR technology adds a new layer to current infrastructures, which can be used for both advertising and entertainment. We give technology room to grow and bring you an innovative idea in the form of insider navigation. The augmented reality indoor navigation app of the future will help you take the next step in the right direction, no matter where you are or where you want to go. The app uses sophisticated technology to navigate you to your destination, e.g. to your gate at the airport. The app will find the correct data, either by having you enter your data or scan your flight information. You'll then see an overview of all the information you'll need for your departure. Your journey can begin. 
Insider Navigation guides you to your destination, down to the nearest millimeter, with simple augmented reality tips as you pass through the building. With no need for an internet connection or GPS, check how long you have left until boarding, and use your free time to take a stroll around the shops. You can keep track of all your information from any angle. If you hold your smartphone horizontally, Insider Navigation will give you a bird's eye view of your route. Insider Navigation will analyze movements to identify cues and security, show the latest information on delays, and tell you how long it is to the gate. Enjoy your journey to your destination and discover exciting augmented reality content on the way. For example, augmented reality will reveal exclusive offers from the surrounding shops. Your trip through the airport will become a lot more fun thanks to perfectly placed AR adverts. Use a voucher for one of the coffee shops or collect offers and vouchers with the Insider Navigation app. You can save all the data collected and use it in the building at any time. You will have the perfect partner to guide you through the complexity of the airport all the way to your destination. Insider Navigation is the perfect solution for exhibitions, shopping malls, and public areas. Thanks to augmented reality, no trip through a building will ever be the same again. Furthermore, monthly cash back is guaranteed, especially because shops and bars turn into advertising hotspots. The app recognizes offers and vouchers, which can be saved directly onto the phone and used at any time. Find the right route to your destination also available with barrier-free use and audio guidance. The Insider Navigation Framework can be integrated into existing apps, and venues can also have their own requests integrated without complication. Insider Navigation is powered by proprietary technology developed in cooperation with Vienna University of Technology. It works without any need for an internet connection, additional hardware, a Wi-Fi hotspot, or Bluetooth repeater. This innovative app works with both Android and iOS, covering 95% of all smartphones. Insider Navigation, your destination tomorrow, today. And I mean, the nice thing is, or the sex on this thing is, that we really can build up an augmented, real augmented reality layer over the whole building. So you not only can use it for navigation, maybe also for advertising, but as we have seen, you also can use it for art. You can use it for children to play when they have to wait. I mean, maybe you don't have an error, but they have pin pigeons following, or dogs, or cats, whatever they like, and so they can guide through an airport. So that's what I like very much. But I mean, this is a marketing video, as you've seen, and a lot of other companies also have things like this uh, on the website. But I mean, the nice thing is, uh, I would like to show you also a demo video we just made with some uh, major airports. This video was made on the airport of Vienna, so this is really a live test, and whoever is interested, nearby to Vienna, just give us a call and we can show it to you, of course, also in real. So the nice thing is, unfortunately, you can't see it very detailed, but I mean, there is, for example, a 3D credit card in top of the billboard, so you just can press on it directly, if you like, apply for a credit card. You can see the arrows on the floor. What is very important to our clients, you can tell them where not to go. <laughs> it's very important, not only where to go, but also where you should avoid to go. If you're the right way, I mean, I really liked what I heard before. Also give them positive feedback. Yes, you're on the right way. You've done a great job. Um, depending on how much time you have, uh, this is what we meant before by having uh, also special requests implemented in the SDK. So some airports said, yeah, we have frequent flyer. I mean, they don't want to be bothered all the time with buy your socks here and buy the next whiskey there. But maybe only have a quick coffee. So also depending on the time that you have from check-in to your boarding, you see more or less advertising. Uh, and the nice thing what I like very much is that you really get direct feedback where to go. You not only you know, have this 2D map, and what our clients like very much is also that you're not running like this through the airport, but you really look up, and you really look into where the shops are, since, I mean, at the moment, most of the airports don't really make money with the aviation business, but only with the non-aviation business, or in five years, there will only be the non-aviation business they will earn money with. So. And this was why, uh, Airports were the first business case, but as it turns out right now, shopping centers are even more interested than, than airports. And yeah, I guess the nice thing is we can guide the users directly to the gate, show them very easily where to go, can avoid 
uh, that they're going the wrong directions can help airports that they go to the right shops and maybe you know some shops are left without clients and so they can target them to the right direction as we have seen and the feedback was from the airports that we've shown this live demo uh, they said that's the best they've ever seen and I mean that all of all the other companies you've seen before in the house some of them already had joint ventures since more than two years trying to solve this and somehow didn't manage it so I guess the good thing, uh, the luck that we had is that working together with technical university, they are in the field of augmented reality since 15 years, and so that's really a lot of know-how we could uh, grab back, yeah. So if you're interested, unfortunately, I can't tell you everything in detail, but just write me an email. I send you back an NDA, and I can give you all the details, how the technology works. If you would like to have a test in your own venue, also no problem. Thank you very much. I guess only seven minutes, perfect in time. 5 p.m. Well done. You can make an app next year that shows where the bathrooms are downstairs. Um, and exactly. so, uh, questions? Ah. For the airport of Vienna, how long did it take to actually map the entire airport so that you could, because yeah, I guess you have a reference inside the iPad so that when the, use, when the user's walking around, he, you, you can map it against that reference. So how long does it take to actually acquire the data? The part that you've seen right now, I guess, is around, the whole part is 300 meters and it took us around two hours and the map size was 0 0.5 megabyte. So that's also very important because we really can put everything offline in the app. And uh, we have a question. Don't be shy to move to meet me faster. You can ask a question. In the video, I saw that uh, there are only few people walk at in the airport. How it will work is will be many people, so a lot of people. It will be decrease quality or, or what? What do you propose? Uh, in general, in the video that you've seen, I guess we have around. I guess 1,000 features, and we've seen that it works stable with 70 features. So uh, the funding we got from European Union says also uh, stable tracking in seasonal changing uh, environment. So that means even if you have a Christmas tree or different decorations, it still works so without any problems. But the problem is you not only can rely on SLAM, so that's why we have some different stuff. Hybrid scanner at the same time, so we're not looking only for SLAM algorithm. So that's the good thing why it's so stable. Okay, and it looks like a last question up front. Could you ever make this app for college campuses? Because I'm telling you, first day of class, trying to find everything is a nightmare. That would be great on university campuses. You see Santa Cruz has 10 colleges. Looking forward to every new challenge. Yeah. <laughs> So that, that question I mean, was thanks make to this conference here, we got really a lot of nice requests. One is also to a company building up big factories, and they never know where is the pipe A, B, C, or where is connector 3.8. So the nice thing is, since we can really put a new layer over the whole buildings, it's also for maintenance a nice thing, because also all the airport says, using it now for B2C, and then when we started this and scanned the whole airport, we also will use this for maintenance for our IT guys, that they know, I don't know, a Wi-Fi route or a beacon is broken, where do we find it? Excellent. So, um, so that will wrap it up. A uh, big round of applause for our uh, speakers. <laughs>